what up, what up? This your boy B-Real, a.k.a. DJ B-Real, and you are watching DJ Films Production. One artist, I thought that was really, he was buzzing before, yeah. you know. Yeah. He passed away. Yeah. But um, the real G Money, yeah. you know, he was really, now his songs, what, industry strong, probably like 10 million plus right, right. now. Right. And right. he had another song, it's probably, I know it's over 5 million right yeah, now. Yeah, 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 man. And tell me about, like, what type, like, how you, how you feel about that? Like, when you say it ain't, like you shouldn't really live right. in Baton Rouge right. if you gon' right. be popping or something. Right, 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 right. Man, it, it, it's crazy, and I'm glad you brought that up because you know, uh, me and Real G and Real G Money, we met in 2015. It was him and um my partner um um uh, Fredo. You know, that's one of the artists that was with G Money all the time. But you know, he he didn't he didn't got incarcerated or whatnot. For some for some for some foolery or whatever like that, so he been locked up. You know what I'm saying? And um, I met I met G Money and Fredo at at the stu at one of the studios, the same studio, um, where he had you know where he passed away and stuff at. And, you know I met him, man. We 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 was he was they was letting me hear some of their music and stuff like that. So um, I'm listening to the music or whatever like that, and you know I was I was really it, it, it grew on to me. So um one day, um in the same studio, uh, I was in the studio with another audit, uh, another producer um, from out of Baton Rouge, very talented uh, cat. His name is Neil on the track, and uh, we were sitting in the studio, and they was and they and they was in there or whatever. So I was just messing with with beats like I normally do. I was sitting in the studio, but. When I was messing with the beat, I didn't really too much like it, so everybody was in there. So, you know, I was joking, but I was serious at the same time, too. I was like, man, I don't really like the beat. Like, if y'all can rip this beat, y'all can have it, y'all do what y'all want. I'm going to just give y'all that, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, they heard the beat, we put it on the Pro Tools, recorded them or whatever like that. Boom, it came out to be something amazing, so boom. Ever since then... I, I linked up with Fredo and G Money, man. We uh, we they uh, it was already with TBG at the time. Um, they they did that uh single called iPhone Six, and that did pretty good. You know what I'm saying? And so uh, they had a studio, uh, not too far from the studio where I met them at. So I I go over there, and you know I just sit in and lock with them and stuff like that. We'll sit in the studio for hours, like we used to live in the studio. Like just going in there recording Buku music, Buku music, Buku music, and then um the first CD that they dropped was the uh, Gorilla Gang CD, um hosted by DJ Earl, and um when they released it that that did pretty good, you know um after that they did uh join the game so that was like another step up for them I pr pretty much produced all the records on that actual CD, and they released that that came out to be good. And some some of the songs that uh, G Money did when he released G Code, I did a couple of them on that on on that CD and stuff like that. But man, just working with him was just amazing because I seen the growth. And at the time, you know, uh, Young Boy was uh, in the same. We we was all in cahoots. You know, he Young Boy was with TBG at at, at at one point. You know what I'm saying? But it, they had some little disagreements and stuff like that was going on or whatever. So, you know, young boy went and, you know, did his thing, but I had got a chance to work with him as well. You know, I produced a song for him as well, and it came out to be good or whatever like that. But all that was in cahoots, you know what I'm saying? From the real G money to Fredo, young boy, like, all that was getting built in that in that studio or whatever when I was working with TBG and everything like that. So, you know, um, you know, we just started working from there. Um, you know, my last days with, with, with G Money, like we was at the same studio that, like they was at the same studio where I first met them at and everything like that. And, you know, I was actually there, you know, when it occurred and stuff like that. And you know, it kind of it kind of messed with me. You know what I'm saying? To 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 see him like that in that position because all he wanted to do was just do his thing and and make it. You know. Stuff like that, and they go back to saying, "Man, it's a lot of hate in, in in the city." You know, he said that 
on one of his interviews, I think that he did with uh, with Say Cheese and stuff like that. He was speaking on it about you know, like you know what I'm saying. I, I wouldn't turn my back on Baton Rouge, but I leave it, and uh, but I leave Baton Rouge. And he was really serious about that, man. And before he can even get his big break, man, they just took him away, man. And you know, it it, it really be messing with me at times. Sometimes it, I be thinking like it, I don't believe it. But you know what I'm saying? But me just seeing it and. Everything going like that, it be it be it kind of it play back in my head and it really mess with me. You know what I'm saying? Because dude, dude was really on the come up and he really was rooting for the underdogs. Like if you was a good artist, you know he'll work with anybody. If you was a good artist that he really feel like, you know he could relate to you and really you know chop it up with you, he'll work with you. He was really truly for the underdogs. He didn't mess with nobody that they felt like they was way up here. You know industry people that felt like they didn't wanna you know, work with him or whatever like that. He was strictly going for the underdog. And man, and, and you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just, I, I'm, I'm happy that I can be able to have all the memories in my head with him. You know, all the good stuff we done did and things like that. I, 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 I catch myself at times, go back on my Instagram page and I'll look at like all the memories and stuff like that, us working in the studio, man. When I tell you, G Money was a workaholic, man, that man, was working because at first he really because I used to tell him like oh like I don't know if you realize that but you got a real fan base man like you got a real you know people you got people that really like your music and everything like that so I used to tell him like man you know you know do it like this put it out like this or whatnot or whatever like that and man at first he 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 told me that he was like man at first I didn't really care about it you know what I'm saying but when he started seeing that. All I, the the, shine, the sun was shining on him, man. He was going full fledged, and for me to see that with him, that really had me on like like man, he gon' he gonna blow. You know what I'm saying? And before they and, and before he really got to that level, it's just like they they took him away. It's just that bad. It's just bad rude. They don't want to see you succeed or get more higher than what they is. You know what I'm saying? I, 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 and that and I tell it to artists that's. Getting they way in the dough, man. If you got a chance to make it up out of here, make it out of here. You see, Boosie did it. You know, he 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 got at a, a certain status and a certain level. That man, when he got what he got, he got up out of there. And I don't blame him because you know Baton Rouge is known for just hatred. They don't want to see you succeed. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's 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 pretty much the story with 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 with, with G Money, the relationship I had with G Money. You know what I'm saying? The real G Money. You know, because that's what he went by, you know what I'm saying?